Sarah, good to speak to you. How has the group been over the past week or so? Yeah, obviously we were disappointed with our first four games and the last performance against Spurs. Uh, we had international break straight after, but we've come back together and just looking forward now. Now we need to put in better performances and try and get results. After a run of results like you've had, does the group use the international break, like you've just mentioned, to almost reset ahead of the, the busy schedule ahead? Yeah, it's a good time to sort of look at the games we've had, where we've gone wrong and just regroup really and, and start afresh, starting from Chelsea on Saturday. Where does the, the recent run of results leave the group in terms of, of the mindset? Because there are moments within the first four games where it could quite easily have been different. You've got a busy schedule ahead in November. Where's the mindset at? Again, we, we can't look back at the results and just be negative. We have to look forward. We've got games coming thick and fast midweek and on the weekend, so we can only look forward to the next game and be positive and believe in ourselves. We've got a good team, a good quality. We know that. We just need to show it. Last season, particularly after Christmas, the wins just kept coming and coming, didn't they? You were a regular feature in the team. Has the start to this season surprised you at all or did you always know it was going to be tough when the fixtures came out? I think obviously it's a tough start against the teams um, and obviously we had a good season last year so it's always going to be hard to sort of live up to the expectations but again we know the quality in our team and we know we can get results. Every game's hard so whether it's Chelsea or anyone else in the league it's going to be a difficult game and we just need to be at our best and that's what we're looking to do now. I suppose last season as well the team were quite lucky really in, in terms of having a fully fit squad for most of the season. How beneficial will it be to have the likes of Kirsty back from suspension and Kenza back from injury? Yeah, both of them you see last season how vital they were in scoring goals and just as part of the team so to have them back is a massive boost for us and yeah, hopefully against Chelsea they can come through and we can all come together and put in the performance and get the result that we know we can do. And to add into the mix, there's been quite a few additions this season. Does it feel like they're still sort of integrating themselves into the team? Uh, I think they've fitted in nicely to the team. I don't think it's been a massive change having them in there. Obviously for them, they need to get used to our system, which is normal, but I don't think it, they've fitted in too badly. I think it's been good, nice, easy transition. So. Um, yeah, I think they've added to our team and again it's just getting everyone together at the same time and having our strongest team on the pitch. What do you make of Chelsea? They're obviously a top side, they're, they've got quality all over the pitch in every position. Um, last season I think we had some good games against them, uh, competitive and you have to be fully focused, the best on the day to beat Chelsea, we know that and it's exactly what we've got to try and do on Saturday. You mentioned the previous games. The last one was in April. You came really close, didn't you, to scoring against them. Is there things that you can take into this weekend's game or is it completely different with it being a new season? I think a bit of both. It is different. We know it's a new season. They've got different players, as, as have we. And Of course, we'll look back at that, but look forward as well to what we can do this year. Good luck. Thank you.